What is diabetes? What causes it? How is it treated? Diabetes is a condition in which the pancreas does not make enough insulin, resulting in high blood sugar levels. Let's take a look at the body to see what's happening when you have diabetes. Thousands of kids all around the world are living with diabetes and are able to live happy and healthy lives. To better understand it, let's take a look at what happens when you eat food. When you eat food, your digestive system breaks it down into nutrients that help keep you healthy and strong. These nutrients are broken down even more into a sugar called glucose, which makes its way into your small intestines. Think of glucose as tiny balls of energy your body uses to keep on moving. While your body digests your food, your pancreas, which is a large flat gland found right behind your stomach, makes and releases a hormone called insulin. Insulin meets glucose in your small intestines, which is a long skinny tube in your stomach that lets nutrients get into your bloodstream. Once insulin and glucose are in your bloodstream, your heart pumps it all around your body through your veins. Why is this important? Well, think of insulin as the key holder glucose needs to get inside your cells. Once glucose enters the cells, it energizes them, helping to keep you up and running happy and healthy. But for people with diabetes, their body either cannot make insulin or cannot use it the right way. Because of this, the glucose builds up in their bloodstream. When someone has type 1 diabetes, it means their body cannot create insulin. They need to get insulin every day. Kids with type 1 diabetes also need to check the amount of glucose in their blood every day. To check this level, they need to take a teeny tiny droplet of blood and put it into a device called a glucose meter. The drop goes in and BAM! It tells us the number. They should also take care to get plenty of exercise and see their doctor regularly to make sure they are in tip-top shape. But of course we should all be eating well, playing often and keeping our bodies healthy. As you can see, kids with type 1 diabetes can run, play and smile just like you and me. There are different types of diabetes. The two most common are called type 1 and type 2. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas is often still making insulin, but it may not be enough or the insulin being made is not working well. Type 2 diabetes is often present in other family members and is associated with increased weight and an inactive lifestyle. Most people are diagnosed with type 2 diabetes after the age of 40. Treatment of type 2 includes lifestyle modifications, including meal planning, regular exercise, oral medications, and sometimes insulin injections. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease that is not completely understood. The cause is still unknown. The autoimmune process destroys the beta cells in the pancreas where insulin is made. This leads to less insulin being made in the body. Since insulin production is significantly decreased, people with type 1 diabetes will always need to replace the insulin their pancreas is not making. Type 1 is most common in children, and currently there is no cure. It's important to know that there's no way to prevent type 1 diabetes. In people who do not have diabetes, food is broken down in the digestive tract. Sugar comes from the breakdown of carbohydrates. The digestive tract releases sugars into the bloodstream. The pancreas then releases insulin to match the amount of sugar and then carries the sugars into the cells where the sugar is used to provide the body with energy. When you have type 1 diabetes, the glucose or blood sugar cannot get into the cells so it builds up in your bloodstream. The cells don't get the energy that they need to function properly, which is why you may have felt low energy. Your body tries to correct the buildup of sugar in the blood by having you urinate that extra sugar. That's why you may have been urinating and drinking more. Remember, even though your pancreas is not making enough insulin, the other function of your pancreas is working well. Since there is no cure for diabetes yet, you'll have to manage your diabetes every day by balancing your carbohydrates eaten, the amount of insulin taken, and your activity level. To know how you're doing, you'll check your blood sugar before meals, at bedtime, and if you're not feeling well or think your blood sugar is high or low based on how you're feeling. Your diabetes nurse and doctor will let you know the range that your blood sugars should be in. Some children with diabetes have a honeymoon period. This is the time after you're diagnosed that some insulin is still being made by your pancreas because all of the beta cells have not yet been destroyed. During this honeymoon, you may not need as much insulin. The honeymoon period usually starts within two to eight weeks of being diagnosed and it could last for weeks to even months. Now this is a time that families may begin to question if it's actually diabetes. This period can be misleading, but we know that after some time your body will continue to lose beta cell function and will require more insulin to sustain itself. Here's another video explaining diabetes. Why me? What's up? Let's go inside the body and see what's happening. 
Your body is made of cells powered by glucose, which gives you the energy to play and run and grow. Glucose, where are you? Glucose! Glucose! Your stomach breaks down carbohydrates from some foods like rice, bread and sugar to make glucose. And this travels in a bloodstream to your cells. Glucose, where are you? The glucose needs something called insulin to unlock the door to your cells so it can get in. Your body makes insulin in the pancreas, which is just below your stomach. When you have type 1 diabetes, your body doesn't make any insulin. It's not because of anything you or your parents or anybody else did. It just happens. When the cells can't get any glucose, they feel very tired and can't do things like they used to. So tired. The body starts to break down fat to get energy and might lose weight too. The body decides there's too much glucose, so it tries to get rid of it by making you pee. Peeing a lot makes you thirsty. The cells really need glucose. That's where insulin comes in to help the glucose get into all your cells so they have all the energy they need. Glucose! Am I glad to see you? <laughs> you can do everything just the same as everyone else. Good night. Sleep tight. Good night.